we're going to be working on a Nexus 6P. The camera has blemishes on the image and unfortunately it ended up being the module itself and not just the glass over top of it, as you can see in the screenshot here. The first step as always is to power down the phone. You won't want it on while you're working on it. Next we're going to remove the sticker on the bottom that covers up the screw holes. You're going to want to be gentle with this if you're planning to replace your case. In this case, I am replacing the case, so I didn't have to be quite as gentle. So just work on one corner, peel it up. Go ahead and pull off the rest, and that exposes the three screws in the bottom. Here, here, and here. Now, a fair bit of warning, you're going to peel the top part up as well, but it's made of glass. So if you're not gentle, it could shatter while you're pulling on it, and then you end up with glass shards. And if you're reusing the case, that part's going to be pretty badly damaged. Again, the uh, top one was covering screws, so we're just going to go ahead and remove those as well. This is the camera module that we're going to be replacing. Uh, so we're going to have to remove the circuit board. We don't have to disconnect everything. We don't need a lot of play. So all you're going to have to do is remove all the visible screws that are holding the circuit board to the phone. With the screws removed, you should be able to just pop the circuit board out. It's being held on by clips on the left and right side, but with a little bit of prying, it folds open. This is the camera module, and it's only being held in by a pressure fit. So first, we'll disconnect the connector. Be very gentle with the ribbon connector, as well as the connector underneath it. You don't want to damage the circuit board. With it unhooked, you can just push the module out, and it should slide out pretty easy. And here we have the damaged module. Here's the new one that I just received. I'm just checking over to make sure it is identical, which it is. Again, just pressure fit it into the board. Line up the connector. And gently clip it into place. Then you're going to go ahead and clip the circuit board back into place on the left and right side. And then it's time to screw the board back into place. At this point, it's a good idea to power up the phone to make sure that the new camera module is working before you go ahead and fully reassemble the phone. And as you can see, the camera is working, and it works the same as the original one, but without all the spots on it. Now it's just a matter of lining up the case, in this case the new black one that I'm putting on it. Snapping the foam back into place. Next, I reinstalled the SIM card. You can do this in any order you want. You can wait till the phone's fully reassembled. I just chose to do it at this point. Then we reinstall the screws in the top and the bottom of the phone. Install the glass plate over top of the camera at the top. Make sure it's properly lined up. And press it down into place. Install the sticker cover on the bottom and smooth it out. And then the most satisfying part, peel off the cellophane. And you're done. Your phone's ready to go. Thanks so much for sticking around until the end of the video. If you liked the video, why not toss me a thumbs up? If you're new here, you can subscribe and don't forget to click the bell so you'll be notified when I put out new content. We're on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, so you can find those on the About section of my YouTube page. If you've got something you want to look at in the future, go ahead and let me know in the comments below. And until next time, stay creative.